time for game time in game number two as we head back down to the arena with Toby Wan and Sindran. Thank you very much. Yes, let's welcome it back for game number two. I think a new trend has been uh, getting arcane boots because you can disassemble it later into Octarine core. Um, so maybe that build up for uh, wow. Super here could be a thing. Take more aggression, but QO actually locked in here. He doesn't have a blink to get out of this one. And now running around the corners, the first blood, it goes away of Super. The paralyzing cars gave MVP more confidence to go on Super. Because the bottom tower. Maybe he thought Broodmother was walking towards him. Oh, fair enough, but it deals like zero damage when. Uh, Ice 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 is going to get this kill. <laughs> Spawn Spider Links. Witch Doctor was just being chipped down. They throw down a sentry ward, so at least they can see the spilings. Nice, nice, nice. Caught in the cliff for the moment. And they're doing everything they can to harass his bottom lane. Ice is still fairly low. But at the same time, you have Alina with a light strike array with a fierce just set up. And he max mana. He has a lot of mana because he has three bottom charges. Mid lane again. Fierce up, QR. Ah, uh, yeah. Commit Laguna Blade. They weren't going to have enough damage before the blink would come in, so they just... With the wards, he would just backed out before it got really dangerous. And I think this is a, a fine play from the Naga. It was just too risky. He's also able to perhaps defend uh, the top You'll set the Super going on the clockwork. March, fairly tanky, a very early Shallow Grave, and Echo Slam committed. March at the hook shot, and they're looking for a revenge kill. They're going to find one on the Urshank into the death. One Super dropping so low. MVP, huge kills for them. They'll take a tier one tower. They get two big calls, including the Lena down. The Widowstop gets the extra cash. And once again, they're gonna buy more space for this Naga Siren. They take the mid tower, good money, but how? Trying to pull it back again. There's a burst heal onto how, and more stars can only be screened, but how jumping up, burning through the mana. QO wants to stick with him, actually baited out the Shadow Strike to force another leap. Meanwhile, are doing a good job. The bottom tier two tower also barely took any damage from Ice Ice Ice. So. Yeah. Just the tier one tower dropping, but they're gonna lose QO now. One charge won't be enough to keep him alive. In fact, couldn't even get him mana. So QO drops on the bottom, the bottom lane. A good gank in from Hal. Good timing when you're under this much pressure from uh, Broodmother, to be honest. Yeah. And now we should see the pressure being pushed back. Ice, ice, ice! The Sonic Wave with the Clockwork Rocket! They actually just killed him off. QO was waiting in the tree lines. He blinked out. Not to mention putting Broodmother in the grave. And they might actually find another opening. Top River is going to be nuts. This is going to be super to do the work this time. Able to find that pick off and another early timing on the item. It's controlled behind the lean, I would imagine. Yeah, about that. 2,300. So. Heavy. Being jumped on the top lane. FY steals the heal, turns it around, but Marshall hook shot in. Being telling he's grabbed by FY. The cogs burning off How and QO looking for a book good find here. How will refuse to give him one until that rocket's gonna connect. QO still no ultimate on him. The Sonic Wave might do, uh, sorry, the Scream might do a little bit of damage here to FY if he can get close enough, including Shadow Strike. But Telekinesis is coming off cooldown. Uh, he already there, just putting so much pressure on QO. How often do you see a Rubik support zoning away a quad? Not very often, but when it's Look FY it. and he oh does it again, God. he might even get the kill! He still Scream! FY! Unbelievable! That was quick. That was efficient. Let him do that. And KP's down for the count as well. The coverage of Spiderlings here from VG Gaming. Difficult to keep up, but they can just keep the momentum going. Feby, you might show the grave now, but you'll want it later. There's no way to TP out this one being dragged back in the Lena. Super with a double kill. The Aghanim Scepter fully done and March. Well, the Invis. But you do have really great team fight abilities. If you can drop all the armor down of VG, that Death War can do more work. March has great initiation up. QO with that Sonic Wave. That's if he survives this. In comes your hookshot. Tries to find the space. The power is in cast. Bouncing back and forth. The Echo Sam looking for more damage. QO will jump out. There's your Death War going to work. But you're in real trouble for March. The Sonic Wave. How still alive. The Queen of Pain down. And Fenrir in the corner. Beating into March. The heal bomb is there. And Fenrir is so low on life. They need more damage. And they will actually get it from the Malediction. They jump back. Attempt to denial. Not going to happen. It is two against one. Maybe being awkward up. So he can't even shallow grave the poor Naga Siren, who never even ulted. There is a buyback for the Naga Siren, but Clockwork as well as Queen of Pain are down for now. Ice 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 wasn't even there. He was just chilling. You don't go for style points when you're playing for uh, 1.2 million dollars, though. That's a little more important than just details. Oh, there goes the Sonic Wave, also with the Death Ward. Super, just too big. However, he'll still pop from the Malediction. 
So which doctor will claim this? He will set this up. He's yeah, avoiding the side. damage, but it's not possible. There goes your bloodstone charges. Flat out missed me from Halder. If he orchids Radiant's the Naga, they kill her. And she bought back before that. This could have probably been the lane of Rax. This world Radiant will lose their courier. Hook shot down. They find an opening. It's actually going to be FY jumping in with a scream. As they hook shot, it wasn't even the clockwork. How? Balls over the Naga Siren. And he'll go in deeper. Orchids on Febby. The paralyzing cask. It's going to actually trigger the Lincolns. No way to bounce. And Hook shot out. Now it's a real one. It's March. But FY, he's still got the Queen of Fame. Blink March. Isolated outside the base. Laguna down and how dragging Febby back. It's a double kill for Super, and this will be the opening they wanted to push up, take the tier 3 tower. And it's going to be a split push as well as Broodmother. I for the last 15 minutes. Oh, they got QR. He's just chilling. Yep, nothing can. Glimmer Cave won't protect QR. They drop the central one inside the base, and QR is down for the count. This could be it right now. There's no way for none to survive. They're losing too many players time and time again. No buybacks for anyone on MVP. There's just no money. There's no economy. MVP are trapped inside their well, and that's the only thing that protects them at the moment. From the radiant base, if he wants to. He's chilling. <laughs> that's what it's all about. Get that man a beverage. Tao jumps in again. Orchids over on March, gonna drag him back. They can protect him with a shallow grave here from Feb, but they need more damage to kill off. How? Even then, he's got the Agassi Mortal Nug up in the air. No song with the Siren. Can they kill her off in time? Keep in real trouble. Echo Sand. There it is. GG well played. VG Gaming will advance. And MVP, the crowd favorite, will be eliminated heavily by VG. It was just a solid performance by VG Gaming throughout both the games of the series, and a real rough draft as well for MVP. I think MVP had to play completely out of their minds to win the game. I, in my opinion, they got outdrafted very clearly in this game. The Brood pick caught them off guard. They didn't have any solution.